Hello students, welcome to physics class via remote learning program of the school. In this video, I will be reviewing what we studied during the Zoom class today with you. Remember what we studied today? Refraction of light waves. We define refraction as the change in the speed and direction of light waves. When the light waves crosses the boundary between two media of different densities. Let me repeat the definition again. I said, refraction of light can be defined as the change in the speed and direction of a light wave when the light wave crosses the boundary between two media of different densities. The key things in the definitions are highlighted on the screen. There must be a change in the speed, which invariably leads to the change in the direction of the speed. And that happens when the light waves crosses the boundary between two media that have different densities. So that is about the definition of refraction. We equally look at the laws of refraction. There are basically two laws. The first law of refraction states that the incident ray, the refracted ray, and the normal all lies on the same plane. All of these three lies on the same plane. Plane, that is the incident ray, the refracted ray, and the normal to the plane, all lies on the same plane. The second law of refraction states that the ratio of the sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is a constant. That word there is not if, it is of. Okay, take note of that. The sign of, all right, the angle of, not the, ang, not the sign if. The sign of angle of incidence, right? So, this is what the second law of refraction states. It says that the ratio of the sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is a constant. And this constant is referred to as the refractive index of the second media, sorry, the second medium, okay? It's not media, media is plural. So when we are referring to a single object, that should be medium. So the refractive index of the second medium. So try to correct that. It is not media, it is medium. Now, mathematically expressed, if we are to express this law mathematically, how do we state it? State it at sine i, that is sine of angle of incidence, over sine r, which is this sine of angle of refraction, is equal to constant. And this constant 
is equal to the refractive index of the second medium. All right? So from here, we can define refractive index as the ratio of the sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction. Okay. What are the effects of refraction? The following are the effects of refraction. That is what we can use this phenomenon of refraction to explain in, our, in natural phenomena. One, bringing objects into view. If you put an object into a bucket, empty bucket, and you look from the side of the bucket, you are not likely going to see the object. But if you fill the bucket with water, you will discover that the object you drop into that bucket, still looking from the side of the bucket, will be visible to you. All right? The, the, the phenomenon of refraction has made that possible. Another effect is the bending of a stick. A straight stick appears bent when viewed. Okay, when you view the stick from either the side or from the top of a bucket that is filled with water, that straight stick appears bent. When you look at it, if you dip that stick into a bucket full of water, you will discover that the stick appears to be bent. All right, another effect of refraction is the apparent depth of a swimming pool. You go to the swimming pool, you look at the bottom of that swimming pool, you will discover that the bottom of the swimming pool appears closer to the surface than it is really is. That effect is also known as apparent depth of a swimming pool. That was all we were able to look at today in our Zoom class. We will be considering real depth and apparent depth in our next class. We also consider total internal reflection and its application that will be in our next Zoom class. But meanwhile, I want you to practice this assignment, which you will find in your textbook, New School Physics, page 318, exercise 13, number six. I repeat again, New School Physics, page 318, Exercise 13, number six. Practice that. In our next class, I will be asking you to give me a solution to that. See you in our next class.